It took a couple minutes to get these on. I know they said compressive, but they were not kidding. They're saying a storm is coming. The way the sun is shining though, I don't see it happening. But then again, I don't see much. Mmm, <laughs> this smoothie is really good. I haven't made a smoothie in a while. This is strawberry banana kiwi orange with flaxseed. Highly recommend. Hey loves, it's Ava on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well. In this one, it's chatty, but I'm showing you a lot as well. We go skating, celebrating my friend's 40th, a little bit of unboxings. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you, Stowe, for letting me know that it's ready. <laughs> anyway. Like I've been saying, this is part three of four, maybe even five, because at this point we're going back in the archives. And this takes us back to, what, mid-February, if I remember right? All I do know is today is March 2nd, but we're not starting here. This is a whole different vlog. So we're going to go back, back, and then hopefully by the end of the weekend, we're up to date with the vlogs and we can start doing other content. If you want to keep up with me when I'm not on YouTube, check me out and support on Patreon. And let's get into this vlog. skin feels so dry and that reminds me I gotta moisturize the scalp because I want my hair to grow back too much was cut off I mean it was damaged so I can't complain but it's such a shame every time I feel like I actually get somewhere with my length there's so much damage at the ends so hopefully some of the conditioners that I got which I think will be in this vlog I don't know at this point I'm just all over the place Back at it like a crack addict. I don't even know what bath line that is, but I'm always using it. Okay, so we wait for a response, but there's no such thing as waiting because there's always, always work to be done. And I need to open up a new, another one. Work's never done. I am so happy. This is the first Monday since I started that I have only one meeting. Usually my Mondays are jam packed. I don't know what it is about me. <laughs> Keeping closet and cupboard doors open just give me anxiety. I just feel like someone's gonna pop out, even though it's just me, I don't know. Unnecessary fears. So here goes me. Here's a funny joke for you. I decided to actually take a lunch break. I don't usually on Mondays. Sun is shining. I'm like, you know what? Let me go and get some vitamin D. I'm gonna take you guys to a chic cafe. I crossed the street six times. That's how crazy construction is around here. To get there for the place to be closed on Monday. You know what? God is just trying to tell me to save my coins. So I made such a pretty white hot chocolate. I mean, I thought about doing the most and putting cardamom on top and a little bit of cinnamon, and I'm like, mm, this is good enough all by itself. So I'm gonna have that while I wrap up because there's only an hour left, like I told you guys. I don't usually take lunch breaks, so I looked at the time and I'm like, it's now or literally next week. <laughs> so later on tonight, I'm gonna go skating. Don't know if I'll bring you guys with me just because I haven't gone all season. So the way I've been dropping this camera lately with no warranty, I'm definitely trying my luck, but I'm excited to go. It's not cold, cold, unlike last week when I wanted to go. And every year that I go, I tell myself, enjoy it, appreciate it, because you don't know how much vision you're gonna have next year, and maybe this is something else that you're gonna have to take off the list of the things you can do. I mean, figure one, if you told me 12 years ago that I'd have to zoom in this much, I'd look at you like this. <laughs> now checking with you guys, hopefully when I get to, wait, should we go to Nathan Phillips Square? Pretty sure Harborfront's not open this year. It wasn't the last two years. We'll see. I prefer Harborfront though. We have the monitor shipped. It shipped on Friday. Yeah. It is freezing. Definitely gonna come back on a warmer day. That's it though. First time skating in a year. I always feel rusty the first time and then I get the rhythm of it. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Morning guys! Now we add this. 
It's going to be a super hectic day. I already feel it in my bones. I don't want to wear all black because I always do. But then again, I don't know if this shirt is too low. Every time I wear a v-neck, even if it's up here, I'm just like, it's a no for the office. Oh yeah, I'm going to take both laptops because this one has a different... Pro Hello, let it go. This one has a different program on it than the one that's already in my backpack. You want to see a throwback? Hey, thanks, Muji. I miss doing collabs with them. If you watched last vlog, you know how I feel about oversized. I love it, but every time I buy it, I return it. Oh, that's not the clone size. Uh, Lily line keeps life interesting. One day, there will be a cure. That's all I know. I told myself, just two minutes, wake up 15 minutes later. I don't even know why I trust myself when it comes to being in bed. And I'm not the type to set multiple alarms. It makes me feel even worse than if I just get up the first time. I think I do my makeup okay, and then when I'm editing the vlog, it's blown up and zoomed in, and I look and I'm like, well, it already happened. <laughs> These moments were a while ago, so I can't go back and rub the mascara off my nose or the liner that went way under my eye. I'm gonna chat with you guys. Do I look okay? Okay, let me just pop this tag or cut it. <laughs> I don't wanna tell you how many times I've worn an outfit around the house contemplating, am I leaving it? Am I not leaving in it? I leave in it and there's a tag, a big tag in the back. I'm walking thinking I'm that girl. No, I'm gonna mix. I kind of wanna get sea salt sage which is also drum alone, it pairs so well. But I have way too many fragrances right now. Should I get this taken in? But then that kind of takes away from it being on sale. I still can't believe things sold out Christmas night, hello. This was in my cart from before and then I just happened to go on Zara when I got home Christmas night. Remember that night when I was wearing my coat inside? Enough is enough, let me get out of here. Don't know if I'll be changing this, but I'll check in with you guys later. Snow is melting. Good afternoon, guys. I'm home or at lunch. Technically, used my lunch break to come back home because I didn't actually have to go to office today. I hate when that happens. That's the third time. Well, anyway, I'm going to take the notes from the podcast I've been listening to. Just keep it grateful, keep it moving. <laughs> I'm just happy that it's a mild day. Never thought I'd say that in February, but all the snow is melting which is more reason why I shouldn't be walking past my mat. But that's that. I'm going to put this away. From dress pants to sweatpants real quick. Get back at it. You know what? Whoa, not my bra cutting up my chest. What's up with that? Throw these on. And I didn't even have breakfast this morning, so I'm gonna have my waffles with some fruit. I still can't believe strawberries are $8. Between eggs and strawberries, worth their weight in gold, apparently. But it sh had my home address on it, so it was supposed to come to my home. There's supposed to be one 32 inch at my house and one at each of the offices I work at. So much is going on. Nope. The banana is still whole inside. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, I used to manage at an ice cream shop and they had the legit industrial Vitamix, not this personal one. That was, that was it. Let's see what the smoothie is saying. Pray for me. Thank God the mango saves it, cause yo, it smells really pungent. Don't think just because it's after five, it's this dark. <laughs> it looked like this when I got up. I was gonna do yoga and I'm like, mm, 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 mm. let me go to the gym because at least it's brighter there. And now, hours and hours and hours later, I'm gonna start using this journal that I showed you in the last vlog to record. The only thing is, and this is why I kind of feel like it's stupid, in order for me to journal, I have to use my magnification app. An intention for the day. Well, the day is basically done. I guess I'll do for the night, because I don't have time to do this in the morning. 
I mean, every morning I thank God for waking up. It's a blessing, right? And then I just hope that today is better than the day before. I find that accessibility and text only advances when it helps other people who aren't disabled. Here's an example. So, ever since I lost vision, 2010 to present day, Zoom text and the magnifier through Windows has pretty much been the same. They fixed a couple glitch, not really added much to either or, if at all, and that's it. Because most people that use the magnifier on Windows or Zoom text are visually impaired. And that's a smaller sample aka smaller sales, then finding something that I might use, but you who can see can also use and they can make money off of. It's the same way when they install an elevator for someone who's in a wheelchair in a subway. The adage is that people who have strollers or caddies and buggies can use it too. So it's not just someone who's disabled, it's for people who also are on wheels in different ways. So I learned that one day when I was in a facilitation and I was like, that makes so much sense. So now that everyone's into like Google Glasses and Snapchat shades back in the day, like the idea of having VR as thin as regular Schmegator glasses, hopefully that will advance it. Because a lot of times, especially when it comes to like Q4 sales earnings in order to do these things with startup companies, they need to have a certain amount of capital to get more investors in order to get to the next phase order to get the technology or the research or the people on board to do what they need to do. There's so much. It's unfortunate that in order for someone to care about this little guy, it has to be important enough for the majority. So with all of that said, I'm happy everyone's really here for virtual reality because the more they get into that, the more some of that functionality will help. Wow, I did not expect to have that whole rant session with you. Watch editing Alicia cuts this all out. The next thing is, slept from, oh, this one's embarrassing. I keep telling myself, go to bed at 10, 30, 11, like you used to. Don't ask me what time I went to sleep last night. <sighs> Lord, I can't say this is not scary, because it is. You don't expect to lose your vision in your 20s. Pardon me if I read like a second grader. It's hard to like pan and zoom. It is, ooh, now it's out of focus. Social time, journaling, meditation, gratitude, time outside, creative work. There is spa day, therapy, alone time, being still silly. Oh, that's so cute. That's what we need to do more as adults, be silly. Well, they actually put learning something new, which is like my goal this year is to do something new every day. Oh, it blurred out. Okay. Listening to music, cooking, that's not self-care to me. I hate cooking, you guys already know. And cleaning. Cleaning can be therapeutic, I can't lie. Okay, so the story behind this is I saw these shorts a month ago, but hello, it's still winter. I mean, it's been mild this week. I'm so happy. I wish winter was always like this, all the snow melted. But I still can't be out here in these streets wearing shorts just yet. But then when I looked on the app, two things happened. One, for whatever reason, I don't know why they're not allowing shipping to the store anymore. So you gotta pay to have it shipped to your house. Two, the shorts are no longer available in any stores that I can get to. If I could drive, maybe, but why would I want to drive to a whole nother seat to get a pair of shorts? P.S. Not the driver getting lost. He called me, he's like, you live at this address and this number, and I'm looking at the number like, is this a scam? I watched way too much scammer feedback. I'm like, is he trying to confirm so you can run my, I don't know. What do my instincts tell me? Luckily, he told me enough for me to believe that he was who he said he was. Are you seeing this? I actually am obsessed with this. 
these shorts. I actually did, oh, it's not up yet because I've been so behind. <laughs> well, last month I did a Zara haul on TikTok and Instagram, which I didn't post. I filmed it and edited it, but it's just in the cut. I need to take it out. But aren't these so divine? I'm obsessed. As you can tell, I'm here for a white cream textured moment. This is very clueless. And I could wear it with my glasses and feel so smart. I don't think I would wear this to work because it's a li little bit too short. Okay guys, be honest. Is this a vibe or no? I love the way it feels. I just don't know if the actual silhouette is saying what I need it to. I picture this with a mint colored top. Not this, but the mint colored dress shirt I have is at my mom's place. That's saying a lot. Imagine having four closets and still storing stuff at your mom's house. Maybe I should take this back choice one option two this is the first one i put in the cart but i think i feel the other one a little bit more it's just giving more of a feminine flair but i'm always here for a skirt moment and like i said i love the texture it gives it something different than the other one that i tried last month i want to pair this with a hot pink top not that i own a hot pink top looks good on me but i don't own that many pieces just want something like a bright pop of color with this i don't know we'll see though because I'm not wowed as much. Never thought I'd say this. And yes, I'm pretending to have heels on because it gives more of an effect. Never thought I'd say this, but I think this actually looked better on the model. You know how those Zara models be contorting like... Hey, through the hour so I figured let me just go out for half an hour stare at something other than a screen for a bit and then get back at it oh my gosh oh by the way if you're wondering what this pink thing is in my cup it's Caribbean crush anytime I have coffee I like to follow it up with a herbal tea me and coffee don't mix I don't know why I love it but I needed it because when I was working earlier I'm just like which is so weird because in January I never craved it and I never felt like I was dying without it. But once you get a little sippy sippy, which I had, what, coffee February 1st? Ever since then I'm just like, oh, and I had matcha yesterday. That's probably it because there's a lot of caffeine in matcha. Okay, so anyway, there was something else I was going to tell you guys. I can't believe we're almost halfway through Black History Month and I haven't done anything yet unacceptable i want to make a list i want to put in there that i want to go to three events every month and travel four times a year is that doing the most probably Thing. You got a bag and now you wildin' You just took it off the line, no mileage Where they hitting you, the DM looking fine Talking while you come around and now they silent Through the 17, no guidance You be staying low, but you know what the fries is They ain't never got you knowing being modest Poppin' shit, but only cause you know you poppin' No more gaping gap I'm here for that A month is way, way, way too long morning guys hope you're good i just got my nails did did my gym session in the morning you saw that got my package david's birthday is wednesday his party is tonight <laughs> i'm so happy i was worried because the box was small that they didn't put it in a little gift box and this is what makes it i'm telling you it's all about presentation presentation so I'm just going to show you because I actually wanted this for myself. <laughs> I should have bought two. That's what I should have done. This is Wood Sage Sea Salt. Clumsy. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever gifted you to perfume. And when you spray it, it sprays. So you know that it's been used. That's happened to me before. Save that for a story time. But yeah, I love how whenever you order online, I was worried because I ordered this last night but i tell you sephora is like zara which is like amazon 
on Amazon Prime Time. That's a little secret. If you ever order fragrances, scents, anything of that sort from Sephora, they usually come better packaged when you order them online. And if you're Rouge, it comes free anyway. They always give you like little minis of things that they would never give you in store. This is a Moroccan oil body oil. Doesn't really smell like much. I wanna buy a really good body oil. I find the lotion I'm using, even Fenty's Butter Drop, the one that I love, is just too much, too drying. With the space heater on inside, with the dry air outside from the cold, my skin really needs more. So I was thinking about getting a shower oil and maybe even a body oil to layer on top. I don't remember when I ordered this. I think I placed this order yesterday. Wow. Yeah, this is the one from yesterday. Is this Java or is she picked up the wrong color? Cause it's not giving, Java seems darker. It does say Java. You see that there? Yeah, you see it in the blind way? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lulu. There we go. This, can I speak English today or not? I got this one from Von Mills, the one that shipped overnight apparently. And then this is the one that I ordered from Eaton Center. Eaton Center is way closer to me. It's probably on a good day. I feel like I'm giving away too much about how and where I live, but on a good day, it's about 15 minutes away if you're on TTC. I timed it once. You can get there in 13 minutes as long as there's no idiots on the transit. Let's talk about TTC for a second because they won the award for one of the best transit systems. I don't know who they paid off of that, but they always have delays. People are always jumping. People are always smoking and doing foolishness and pressing the emergency buttons for non-emergencies. Like, Toronto is pretty rash when it comes to the transit system. But I find if you go super early mornings or on dead periods of times, as long as there's not too many people on it, it usually arrives on time. I wouldn't blame the delays on the bus drivers or the conductors for the streetcars or trains. I think it's more so the more people, the more likely things are gonna go down. And people take their time, like they'll rush and they'll just stop at the door as if no one behind them is possibly rushing to catch the same train. But don't let me go off on a tangent about that because I got way too much to do today. I got to film a Patreon exclusive TikTok content. Good morning. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? I don't know. 20 to 6 to drop it off. Oh, I put the bull on backwards. All right, I'll let you know in a couple right. minutes. Sure, all right, I'll see you. All right, bye. Hey. Ah, why is it not working? To the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, president. <laughs> Do you know which one it is? Yeah. <laughs> did you spray it or no? I did. I think it's really smelly. I have to see if I've been to this place. Oh, it does smell yeah. good. Yeah. So, uh, I will buy like a lot of food. <laughs> These, These are really good. Oh, last lovely moment. That's how we do it. Oh, I love chicken tenders. Yeah. There's way too many people here. Yeah. 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 So we also got this. <laughs> so much here. It's gonna be fun for sure. I almost tripped on it on my way out, so we're gonna look at what's inside today. Yesterday's party was good. I was home and in bed by 10. That's how you know granny styles over here. Ooh, these feel so nice. Are they aligned though? Because I don't trust that fabric. I know everyone lives for line. I just remember my first pair of, was it? Luan or whatever their OG fabric was. That ish filled so quick, and I heard a line is just as bad. It's buttery smooth, but I don't know, so let's see. Lululemon Align High Rise Short 6 Inch. I know that's right with the 6 inch. I think 7's a little bit too long on me. 3 is giving Gucci, 7 is too long, 5 is just right. We'll see how the 6 looks. I'm here for this orangey color though. I remember last year I ordered something from Aloe expecting it to be 
okay, maybe not this hue, but a little bit more muted, more pastel-y, and then it ended up being basically like a pink with a tinge of orange. That's saying a lot coming from the girls whose combs and rods are dying, and I'm not supposed to be able to see the difference. That's one thing I'm really grateful about when it comes to star guards. It hasn't affected my ability to see colors. Trying to be grateful and count my blessings. Not them putting little paddings in there to keep it. Ooh. And then I got this. Ooh, yes, I love the way this feels. They're actually the same style, just different colors. I haven't seen this bra before, and I love Lulu. Trust me, one of the first things I got in uni, I was 17, was a pair of their flare with the pink band. I said full memory, even though I just cleared off the card, but all good. I don't know what it is. Sometimes when I drink hot drinks, it makes me want to sneeze. It's so weird. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, that I'm grateful that even with Star Guards, I can still discern the difference between the two. I love this fabric though. I love Lululemon, don't get me wrong. Back back in the day, like I said, I used to save my coins from working at the car store to buy a thing here and there from there. Still expensive, even with the money I'm making as a grown woman now, but it's worth it. Their pieces last at least a decade. I have some things in my closet that I am surprised have survived phases of my life. Are you seeing this? First of all, it feels like luxury. I'm here for the pockets. Whenever I wanna run a quick errand, I just throw my phone in. These are a two. I might've been better off getting a four, honest with you. It took a couple minutes to get these on. I know they said compressive, but they were not kidding. These have you snatched, top and bottom. The straps are tighter than the bust. This fits perfect. But I mean, if you need something that's gonna suck everything in, the Everlux is where it's at. I'm here for this really beautiful cocoa shade, anything chocolate, and you've sold me. This one is called Java if you're interested, because I know they have like a roasted something. That ain't it. This set screams spring and summer, although I don't think I'm comfortable enough wearing this combo out the house. It's more of a go downstairs, go to the gym, do my sash, come back up. But it would be a good replacement for the other orange set that I got, what, two years ago? It's from Maurizio, so it didn't cost that much. But still, it's a brand of all. So I went to my stepdad's house, was it two years ago? Because it wasn't my brother's past birthday, it was one before. And we're all working out, and he's like, okay, just throw your clothes in the laundry room, and I'll do everyone's after so that we can go back home without having a sweaty set, you know? Why is it he gives me back my set and it's grayish? How did it go from coral to grayish. I don't know what possessed him that day, but he put it in with his black clothes. Point of the story is, this is supposed to be the replacement for that. I love it, I love the feel. I just don't know if I feel comfortable. And I'm so picky about my pigments. I do want something a little more muted. Watch, next week's owl drop is probably gonna be the perfect hue of coral. Thousands of images of the war before the invasion were once like